Hello and welcome to my code coffee. We are now starting next unit dedicated to nodes and network in blockchain. All the concepts related to nodes, networks, protocols and verifications will be covered in this unit. This chapter which is chapter 18 in the series of Bitcoin blockchain gives you an overview of various types of nodes in blockchain network. So let's start. In this chapter, I will talk about Bitcoin network and the nodes which connect with each other to form this network. Of course, Bitcoin network sits on top of the internet, no brainer there. But the most important thing is that Bitcoin network is a peer to peer network, which means there is no hierarchy in the network. No central server, no client server architecture, all nodes are equal and same. In other words, they are equally capable. We must understand that the core of blockchain technology is decentralization. So it is no surprise that Bitcoin network has this flat peer to peer architecture. Now, when I say that all nodes in Bitcoin network are equal, it does not mean that all nodes must be equal and same. All it means is that if a node wants to perform all function and store all data, it can. But many times node choose to do specific functions and store certain data instead of doing all functions and storing all data. And that's the reason that we see different kind of nodes in the Bitcoin network. So these different kind of nodes exist because they choose to have only certain features, not because network does not allow them to have all features. So let's think about a node in a blockchain network and what all things it can do. Number one, it should have a network router. Of course, this is a must have feature. Otherwise, uh, how you will connect with the Bitcoin network. Number two, it can have full blockchain. Number three, it can also have mining features, which means it can be a mining node. And number four, it can have wallet to store private key. I have talked about different type of wallets in previous chapters. As I said, not all nodes may want to perform all functions. But if a node is having all above features, which means it has network routing component, it has full blockchain, it has mining functions and it has wallet also, then this type of node is called reference client or Bitcoin core. But as I said, some nodes choose to have only certain features. For example, if a node is having only full blockchain along with network routing node, it is called full node. If a node is having a mining component also along with full blockchain and networking component, then it is a solo miner, which means it can do mining on its own without participating in any mining pool. What is mining pool? We will learn later. Similarly, if a node is having only wallet along with networking component, then it's a lightweight wallet or simplified payment verification node, SPV node. So there are different type of nodes in a Bitcoin network. But as you can see, one thing which is common among these nodes is the network routing node. All of them are having this network routing node. The most common protocol used by these network routing node is P2P protocol. In fact, the Bitcoin network actually refers to the collection of nodes running the Bitcoin P2P protocol. This is the main Bitcoin network. But there are other protocols also which are in use. In next chapter, we will talk about those protocols. P2P protocol and how all this combine to form network of nodes. Move to the next chapter and enjoy my code coffee. If you now want to move to the next chapter, you can click on this card. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way. For easy navigation to all chapters, visit mycodecoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching.